And elsewhere, the UK Home Office has implemented new visa rules that restrict overseas care workers from bringing dependent family members to the UK. This decision, effective this week, aims to address what the Home Office has described as a disproportionate situation where 120,000 dependents accompanied 100,000 workers on the care visa route last year. Home Secretary James Cleverly defended the move, emphasizing the need to combat visa abuse and reduce unsustainable levels of legal migration. He acknowledged the invaluable contribution of care workers to society, but stressed the government's commitment to tackling abuse and manipulation of the immigration system. The government contends that the changes are vital to prevent the exploitation of care workers who have been offered visas under false pretenses, often for non-existent jobs or wages below the minimum required. The measures include raising the salary threshold for skilled workers and removing the 20% going rate discount for migrant workers in shortage occupations. A uh, UK immigration lawyer, Daya Fadino, joins us now to discuss this development. Thank you for joining us on World Now. Uh, well, let's begin by getting your reaction to this latest migration policy by the UK government. What is the import? Well, um, good afternoon, um, and uh, thanks for having me, and um, uh, good afternoon to your viewers. Um, first of all, um, this very, the policy is actually introduced um, you know, uh, by the Home Secretary. Uh, they've uh, been pending for quite a lot, or a long time. Um, they've always wanted to at least reduce the number of uh, people coming to the UK via, you know, work permits and so many other uh, visas. And hence the reason why they've now put this into effect, really. Um, they're going to be uh, putting uh, this very particular new rules uh, to Parliament on the 14th of March uh, to now, now seal uh, for once and for all uh, the reduction of immigrants, uh, particularly uh, people, apply, people applying for work permits to come to the UK. Um, now, the inputs, you know, uh, concerning what's happening right now and what the Home Secretary has in mind, uh, in my strong professional view, I'm not too clear and sure whether it will even shift a dial, you know, a, a tad, um, concerning the number of people coming to the UK who want to come and work or who want to come and, you know, join their families, uh, or who want to come and study. Yes, it would impact on uh, the number of uh, people coming to the UK, uh, but whether it would deter so many people from wanting to come is another, uh, uh, you know, issue altogether. Um, we, we, would, we should remember that, uh, you know, over the years, at least over the last five to ten years, uh, there have been so many uh, uh, people coming to the UK to work in the care industry uh, because they've always been short of so many workers, um, you know, in the health and, and social care industry. Um, the, Brit the British citizens are not just interested in doing many of these jobs, uh, hence the reason why they have to employ so many people from abroad uh, to come to the UK to do these jobs. Now, if it's the case that this rules coming to effect, coming to come to come into force. What it would mean is many people who would, would truly really want to come to work in the UK as care workers. If you are to prevent them from coming with their family, their children, their wives, husbands, most likely they would not want to come. That's the first point. Secondly, uh, the salary um, that you need to earn before you could even come in as a care worker. Uh, that salary has now been increased from about, I think, 26200 to about 38700 Again, it would deter so many people from coming because before you could actually start earning that kind of salary in the UK, you should be a very, very high-profile care worker All right. uh, who, who, who would want to actually come to the UK. Yeah. I, I hear you, Mr. Fadina, but now I'm curious as to what the fate of the about 300,000 uh, applicants who have now lost eligibility is. Are there options for redress in this matter? Well, when you say lost eligibility, are you talking of people who have already applied and in the UK or people who are coming to the UK? Well, people who have applied and whose applications have been approved. Well, well if my strong take on this is if applications have been approved before those rules changed, those applicants 
have the right to be able to actually come to the UK because those applications were approved before change of rules. They cannot just cancel all applications approved if it's the case that um, these people genuinely fulfill the rules and regulations when they were applying for leave to enter the UK uh, as care workers. Uh, you can't just, with one a stroke of the pen, just cancel all those uh, uh, approvals. Um, the rules, the new rules are not going to be retrospective. They will start from when the rules um, um, come into force, um, and that will be April. Um, and if people have applied before April um, and the applications are approved, it will be draconian, really, if I could use that, that word. It will be draconian and yeah. un unconscionable for all those applications to now be cancelled. Uh, because of the fact that it was not now changed. Because the, we should bear in mind that these applications were approved before those, this change of rules. I hear you. I hear you, Mr. Fadino. And then, of course, reactions have been great in it, but wait to see how it all plays out in the days ahead. Uh, Daya Fadino is a UK immigration lawyer. Thank you very much for talking to us on World Now. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, away from that.